The Maltaburet culture is an archaeological culture of the Upper Paleolithic on the Upper Angara River in the area west of Lake Baikal in the Irkutsk Oblast, Siberia, Russian Federation. The type sites are named for the villages of Malta, Uzolsky District and Buret, Bokansky District. According to research published in 2013 and 2016 the Malta people belonged to an extinct population closely related to a population who contributed substantially to the genetic ancestry of Siberians, Native Americans and Bronze Age Yamnaya people. The Malta Buret population were also found to be genetically close to modern-day Native Americans, Ketsvnanazans and Yukaeas. Archaeological evidence Mongoloid features had been originally acknowledged in the skeletal remains of a child found at the site of Malta. Alexif in his later publication was more cautious, stating that this area was inhabited by a population of Mongoloid appearance. Malta consists of semi-subterranean houses that were built using large animal bones to assemble the walls, and reindeer antlers covered with animal skins to construct a roof that would protect the inhabitants from the harsh elements of the Siberian weather. Much of what is known about Malta comes from Russian archaeologist Mikhail Gerasimov, known in the anthropological community primarily for his contributions to a process called forensic sculpture. Gerasimov first achieved fame for his excavation of Malta in 1927. At the time, the discoveries he made were revolutionary in the field of anthropology. Until his findings, scientists had not imagined that Upper Paleolithic societies of Northern and Central Asia were capable of the same level of culture as those of Europe. Over the course of his career Gerasimov would twice more visit Malta for excavation and research, each time completing findings that were just as remarkable. Evidence seemed to indicate that Malta is the most ancient site in eastern Siberia. However, relative dating illustrates some irregularities. The use of flint flaking and the absence of pressure flaking used in the manufacture of tools, as well as the continued use of earlier forms of tools, seem to confirm the fact that the site belongs to the early Upper Paleolithic. Yet it lacks typical scree blows that are common in other Siberian Paleolithic sites. Additionally, other common characteristics such as pebble goes, wedge-shaped cores, burins, and composite tools have never been found. The lack of these features combined with an art style found in only one other nearby site make Malta culture unique in Siberia. Art There were two main types of art during the Upper Paleolithic. Mural art, which was concentrated in Western Europe, and portable art. Portable art, typically some type of carving in ivory tusk or antler, spans the distance across Western Europe into Northern and Central Asia. Artistic remains of expertly carved bone, ivory, and antler objects depicting birds and human females are the most commonly found. These objects are, collectively, the primary source of Malta's acclaim. In addition to the female statuettes there are bird sculptures depicting swans geese and ducks. Through ethnographic analogy comparing the ivory objects and burials at Malta with objects used by 19th and 20th century Siberian shamans, it has been suggested that they are evidence of a fully developed shamanism. Also, there are engraved representations on slabs of mammoth tusk. One is the figure of a mammoth, easily recognizable by the trunk, tusks and thick legs. Wool also seems to be etched by the placement of straight lines along the body. Another drawing depicts three snakes with the heads puffed up and turned to the side. It is believed that they were similar to cobras. Venus figurines Perhaps the best example of Paleolithic portable art is something referred to as Venus figurines. Until they were discovered in Malta, Venus figurines were previously found only in Europe. 
Carved from the ivory tusk of a mammoth, these images were typically highly stylized, and often involved embellished and disproportionate characteristics. It is widely believed that these emphasized features were meant to be symbols of fertility. Around 30 female statuettes of varying shapes have been found in Malta. The wide variety of forms, combined with the realism of the sculptures and the lack of repetitiveness in detail, are definite signs of developed, albeit early, art. At first glance, what is obvious is that the Malta Venus figurines are of two types, full-figured women with exaggerated forms, and women with a thin, delicate form. Some of the figures are nude, while others have etchings that seem to indicate fur clothing. Conversely, unlike those found in Europe, some of the Venus figurines from Malta were sculpted with faces. Most of the figurines were tapered at the bottom, and it is believed that this was done to enable them to be stuck into the ground or otherwise placed upright. Placed upright, they could have symbolized the spirits of the dead, akin to spirit dolls, used nearly worldwide, including in Siberia, among contemporary people. Context of the Venus figurines The only widely known upper Paleolithic art from Asia are these figurines from Malta. Although other examples of Paleolithic Asian art do exist, few of them have gained much attention outside of Asia. The reason why these Malta figurines garner so much interest is that they seem to be nearly identical to European female figurines of roughly the same time period. The suggested similar Similarity between Malta and Upper Paleolithic civilizations of Western and Eastern Europe coincides with a long-held belief that the ancient people of Malta were related to the Paleolithic societies of Europe. These similarities can be established by the tools, dwelling structures, and art. These commonalities draw into question the origin of Upper Paleolithic Siberian people, and whether the migrating peoples originated from southeastern Asia quite possibly from Europe. On the other hand, one can argue that, as a group, the Malta Venus figurines are rather different from the female figurines of Western and Central Europe. For example, none of the Siberian specimens depict abdominal enlargement as many European examples do. Also, as breasts are often lacking in the Malta figurines, few offer clear enough evidence of gender to define them as female. More conclusively, nearly half of them show some facial details, something which is lacking on the so-called Venus figurines of Europe. It may not be possible to reach a definitive answer as to the origins of these peoples and the culture. A 2016 genomic study shows that the Malta people have no genetic connections to the Dolny Vestanice people from the Gravitian culture, which suggests that the similarities are primarily due to cultural diffusion. Symbolism Discussing this easternmost outpost of Paleolithic culture, Joseph Campbell finishes by commenting on the symbolic forms of the artifacts found there. We are clearly in a Paleolithic province where the serpent, labyrinth, and rebirth themes already constitute a symbolic constellation, joined with the imagery of the sunbird and shaman flight, with the goddess in her classic role of protectress of the heart, mother of man's second birth, and lady of wild things and of the food supply relationship to American Indians and Europeans. Research published in 2014 suggests that the Malta-like people were important genetic contributors to the American Indians, Europeans, Central and South Asians but did not contribute to and was not related to East Eurasians. Malta had a type of R asterisk Y DNA that diverged before the HGR1 and R2 split and an unresolved clade of of haplogroup UMT DNA. Between 14 and 38 percent of American Indian ancestry may originate from gene flow from the Maltaburet people, while the other gene flow in the Native Americans appears to have an Eastern Eurasian origin. Sequencing of another South Central Siberian dating to approximately 17,000 years ago, 
revealed similar autosomal genetic signatures as Maltoboy 1, suggesting that the region was continuously occupied by humans throughout the last glacial maximum. Ancient North Eurasians The term Ancient North Eurasian is the name given in genetic literature to an ancestral component that represents descent from the people of the Maltaburet culture or, or a population closely related to them. According to 2016 genomic study, it was found that global maximum of AIN ancestry occurs in modern-day Native Americans, Cats, Nanas and Sanuka Genomic study also indicates that the Yamnar invasion from steppes introduced ancient North Eurasian admixture into Europe. Ancient North Eurasian genetic component is visible in tests of the Yamnar people, which makes up 50% of their ancestry, as well as modern-day Europeans but not of Europeans predating the Bronze Age. Bibliography Bednarik, Robert G. The Pleistocene Art of Asia. Journal of World Prehistory. 8, 351-75. Chart, Chester S. Dot. Northeast Asia in Prehistory. Madison, Wisconsin. The University of Wisconsin Press. Dolitsky, A. B. Ackerman, R. E. A. L. Siberian Paleolithic Archaeology. Approaches and Analytic Methods. Current Anthropology, 26, 361 to 78. Flegentov, Pavel, Chiang Mai, P. A. L. Dot. Genomic study of the Ket, a Paleo Eskimo related ethnic group with significant ancient North Eurasian ancestry. Scientific Reports, 6. DO 10.1038 SRE P 20768. Hark, W. Lazaridis, I. A. L. Massive migration from the steppe was a source for Indo-European languages in Europe. Nature, 522-207-11. D.O. 10.1038, Nature 14317. Jones, Epiar, Gonzalez Fortes, Gloria A. L. Dot. Upper Paleolithic Genomes Reveal Deep Roots of Modern Eurasians. Nature Communications, 6, DO 10.1038 and COMMS 9912. Lazaridis, Yosef, Patterson, Nick, A. L. Dot. Ancient human genomes suggest three ancestral populations for present-day Europeans. Nature, 513 to 409 minus 13. Do 10.1038. Nature, 13,673. Martinov, Anatoly I. The ancient art of Northern Asia. Trans. Demutribi Shimkin and Edith M. Shimkin. Chicago, Illinois, University of Illinois Press, 1991. Ragavan, Manasa, Skoglan, Pontis, A. L. Dot. Upper Paleolithic Siberian Genome Reveals Dual Ancestry of Native Americans. Nature, 505-87-91. D.O. 10.1038. Nature 12736. PMID 24,256,729. Schlesier, Carl H. 2001. More on the Venus figurines. Current Anthropology 42 410 412. Sivking Tan. 1971. Paleolithic Decorated Bone Discs. The British Museum Quarterly 35 206-229